You know, at one point, sneakers came in two colors. You had your black and you had your white. Well, boy, how all that has changed. Now there are literally thousands of options. So naturally, there is now a magazine dedicated solely to sneakers. It's called Soul Collector. And the third issue of the magazine hits newsstands Monday. It's in conjunction with the NBA All-Star Game. Alex Wang is here to talk about Soul. He's a leading sneaker collector who goes by the name Retro Kid. Soul's creative director, Alex Wang. Alex, or can I call you Retro? Yeah. Good, good morning, Retro Kid. Good morning. And also a writer for the magazine, Anthony Gilbert. Anthony, good morning to you. Good morning. I get fired up talking about sneakers, guys. i got to warn you right now. I'm a huge sneaker <laughs> guy. I love them. And, and so, Alex, I want to start by asking you, why do we need a magazine that is solely dedicated to sneakers? Well, it's about time that, you know, sneaker culture has gotten so big, and everyone's just, you know, everyone's a fan of sneakers. Everybody loves sneakers at, at, at some point or another. And there's a growing contingent of, you know, collectors and enthusiasts out there, and Everyone just, you know, they just want to learn more. And um, back in the day, you know, it started in Japan, Asia, and everyone wanted to go after sneakers. They had magazines for it. Mm -hmm. So um, Steve and Nicole, they came up to me like, hey, we need one for the, uh, the USA. Let's do it. Yeah. So I said, it sort of meshes with the hip hop culture too, doesn't it? Which is which is very big in this cult in this country. Obviously. Yes, uh, sneakers and hip hop go hand in hand. Um, you know, obviously, sports related, everything. Um, yeah, sneakers just everyone loves sneakers. Yeah, Alex, um, or Anthony, rather, my, the next issue of the magazine is uh, its coming out. As I said, it's pegged with the NBA All-Star right. Game. And uh, you, know, you, you think about the All-Star Game as being a showcase for the greatest players in the world, but it's also a showcase for these sneakers. Why is that? Well, the NBA All-Star Game has become, in the modern basketball era, like the event uh, for sneakers. So the sneaker companies really do it really big. And they get these athletes who are the best athletes in the world, as you said, to wear their shoes. And everyone's looking at them to see what they're wearing on Sunday. Why is it the All-Star Game? Why don't we see it through the regular season? That's a good question. Is it because the uniform codes well, in the NBA are so strict? Well, that's part of it, but this is center stage. This is it. And these are the, the top of the top. And yeah. what they're wearing, everybody wants to wear. All right. Now, you wrote the cover story for the uh, most recent issue. Right. And uh, it's on. It's about Tracy McGrady, and I'm told that Tracy is about to shake up the sneaker world with what he's going to do at the All Star Game. What What has he got planned? Yeah, well, Tracy McGrady. Here are his shoes. He's going to wear these on Sunday. One red, one blue. It's going to be truly amazing. It's going to be the start of something big. So now you can hold those up if you want. He's going to wear one red and one blue. Do you buy them that way? I you buy them separately. So it's a marketing gimmick to sell more sneakers then, right? <laughs> sell more shoes. So you've got to buy two pair if you want to be cool like Tracy. you got to be like Tracy. Is that going to catch on, you think, Alex? Are we going to see a lot of copycats, people doing this out on the playground? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I mean, you know, you see a major NBA star wearing it. You know, kids want to copy. You, know, you see hip-hop stars. You know, you want, to, you want to be cool, so to speak. So right. I, I think you'll see it down the line. What else do we have? I'm, I'm interested to, in that brown one. What's that uh, on? This is the LeBron shoe. It's his rookie year shoe, the Zoom Generation. Uh, this color he's going to be wearing in the rookie game. It looks like almost like a work boot. Yeah, it looks like a Timberland. It's got it's got the East Coast flavor. Anthony's got them all right now. Yeah. So he's going to roll out there and play in the rookie game Yes. in that shoe. In that shoe. Very interesting. All right, what else do we have? There's an old school. Yeah, game, right? right here is the Jordan 2. Um, this one will be reissued. But this is yeah, this is the original pair from 1988. Um, That's uh, worth like a million dollars there, this shoe. Right? <laughs> it's <laughs> it's a little bit more than that. Yeah, it's incredible how yeah, these shoes nice. have held their worth. And what are these? Well, right thing. here we have the Air Jordan 6, mm -hmm. and All Star Game is in LA, and these are the first sneakers that Michael Jordan wore for his first NBA championship. So we're going back to LA. We're going to wear these sixes, and this here is the. K1X Chief Glider, and um, they have a special deal with Rucker Park here in New York. Really? Yeah, and they're only available online, um, so they're, they're pretty rare. And this is the Kicks. I, I actually like the design of that shoe. It's a nice look. Yeah. V very good. And then uh, up front here, this, this shoe is, I know that's uh, another version of the McGrady. Let me hold this to the camera. I think all UPS drivers should wear this. It's kind of got the UPS brown and yellow thing going there. I like this shoe, I, actually. Yeah. It's, and then on this side, you've got yeah. like, 
you know, it was a very, very nice look to it. I, I think the red and the blue are going to catch catch fire, though. We hope so. All right. So when you're watching the All-Star game and you see Tracy roll out with one red and one blue, remember, you heard it here on Cold Pizza first. That's right. Alex, Anthony, thank you so much. Good luck with the magazine. Thank you very thank much. You. Interesting concept. A new issue of Soul Collector is released Monday. You can find it at Finish Line stores, on newsstands, and at soulcollector.com. Coming up, Valentine's Day is one of the most popular days to propose. If you're thinking about popping the question, Dawn Yannick is along next, and she'll tell us how you can do it. Stay tuned.